Okay, in the last video about NMR theory, we talked about how protons, hydrogen nuclei, spin, and in the presence of a magnetic field, they wobble or precess at a particular frequency. And we can detect that wobble by bombarding those nuclei with a frequency of electromagnetic radiation that matches the frequency of precession. If the frequencies match, then that electromagnetic radiation can be absorbed, and we get this resonance forming. Okay. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the phenomenon of shielding. Okay. Now, it turns out in a molecule, electrons also spin, and they generate their own electromagnetic field, and that electromagnetic field generated by the electrons actually works against the applied magnetic field that you're using in NMR. So the electron density in a molecule can shield protons from the applied magnetic field, making it harder really to get them to precess at a high frequency, the frequency needed for them to absorb your electromagnetic radiation. And so what I've got is sort of an example here. We've got this um, proton here, which is deshielded, and then this proton here, full of water, which is shielded. So what I'll do is I'll show you the difference in precession frequencies. Here's deshielded, high frequency, shielded at low frequency. And so, um, if a proton has electrons around it, in this analogy the electrons are water, that proton is actually precessing at a lower frequency because it doesn't feel that magnetic field that you're applying as strongly. So it takes a little more energy. You have to increase that magnetic field further and feel further in order to reach the resonance frequency of these protons. So what you see is that protons in a molecule are different from each other. Some are shielded, some are deshielded, and that causes them to precess at different frequencies, high and low. Um, and we can really separate those absorptions um, based on how fast these things are precessing. So on a spectrum, initially, you need lower magnetic field strengths to reach these nuclei, which are precessing at a pretty fast frequency. And those that are shielded, you don't see until later in the spectrum on the right because it takes a higher magnetic field strength to get these slower frequency precession rates up to speed.